So as I turn this dial indicator, this is going for a, a less pressure and it's shrinking it or stretching it less. If I dial it up, it's doing a lot firmer and so it's shrinking the metal or stretching the metal a lot firmer. So you don't want to do so much that you're really, really um, stretching the metal so much that it's tearing. At the same time as when you're shrinking, you don't want to shrink the metal so quickly that it's puckering because the puckering is going to make a lot of work. So it's nice to come in and, and shrink at a constant and run backwards and forwards across that maybe 10 times to get the shape that you want rather than do it immediately and just stretch the hell out of it and really stress the metal. So we, we just don't want to stress the metal, that's the whole guy. Because when you come into welding edges, stressed edges are difficult to weld. Gentle stretching and everything else will really parlay to, okay, a little bit of a trim, that's not a stressed edge. I can then take it into another stretched or shrunk edge and it will work out exactly the same. So here we go, we're going to do a little, a little stretching on this one. So now you can see where we have quite a bit of stretch going on through here. If I was to do the shrinking die, I could, I could shrink this up the other way. Or if I turned it up the other way, I could shrink it so that this comes around this direction. So depending on whether you work in the machine upside down or right side up, it all depends on personal preference. I like to work with the machine so I can see what's happening to the metal that's moving. Uh, if it's upside down, unless I really have to, I, I don't prefer that. But it's up to you guys as you start doing the work. So there we have it. We have easy change on the dies. What we have up here is the shrinking dies. The little handle here, it just pulls down. These slip out. And the other die slips in. And so what you have to pay attention to is that you, d you change both dies. You can't have shrinking and stretching on one and not the other. Uh, it will damage the machine. So like I say, be gentle with the equipment. So there we go. We're now into the shrinking. Question. Any questions? Yeah, could you have just flipped the panel over and continued uh, stretching and done that also without changing the die? If, if I was stretching on this edge, uh -huh. if I'd flipped it over, and I was stretching on this edge, yeah. it would throw it the opposite way. It. It, would, it would throw it this way, oh. not over this way. Okay. So the difference is, and it's a great question, can I carry on using the stretching die yeah. to perform the same aspect? No. Oh. No. What we have to do is when, you're, when you have a radius mm -hmm. and you want to crown and move the shape this way, we have to gather the metal together. As the metal gathers together, it becomes shorter here, which allows this to curve over this way. As we stretch on this edge, it's separating material, making this edge longer, which then enables this to start curving the other way. So you've got to use the right die set to achieve the right uh, shaping. So great question, yeah.